She does. A little bit. <laughs> I hope this mm. thing works over there. All right, welcome, friends. It's real. Welcome <laughs> to it's... reality. That's not the theme song. Oh. <laughs> we haven't written one yet. No, we haven't, but I can assure you that's not it. <laughs> so, welcome, world. Mm. It is uh, two minutes past eight, so we are here to entertain you for the evening. Uh, no, holy not no really for the next 30 minutes. So, first thing on the agenda is to talk to you about TikTok. So, <laughs> TikTok, Millie Rago. Did anybody catch our amazing TikToks? I hope so. Because well, how many have we done? What do you mean, TikToks? We did two. Oh, we did do two. Yeah. That, we did whole, two. that first one, what is it called? The Oh Na Na Na. Oh Na Na, na, na Challenge. Na, na. Uh, it was amazing. And. We actually do know the full dance now, but we're over trying to learn it in the house. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. eventually, eventually you'll get a full full one where we do the whole thing. But uh, it was fun for what it was. Uh-huh. And then the second one, the before and after challenge on our cute little listing—it's not little, the cute large listing uh, in Glen Burnie that we did over the weekend. That was a fun one too. Mm-hmm. So hope you enjoyed it. If if you watch TikTok and you want us to do a specific one, let us know which one it is. And uh, I say we just do one right now. How? This one. Mm, mm, no. Mm, mm, <laughs> I already did it. And no, mm. it takes too much time. But if you want to see Jen do it later, feel free. <laughs> Mine's already up, so you feel free to watch it. Well, I'm going to see if I can get Louie to do it with me. Oh, volume. Sorry. I'm not 100% sure what she's doing right now. I really wanted to do that one. Well, you can after this on your own time. All right, so February Abundance Boxes. That is uh, what is on the agenda next. So we are so excited. They all, the January ones went out earlier today. So yay for that. We're having our final meeting tomorrow over what's going to be in the Feb boxes. So Remember, those boxes are coming to people who made real estate introductions between us and people you know and love. Yeah, so group text. Or even just remotely like, really. We don't care if you love them or not. (laughs) Just anyone you know, we're cool with. So you can either make that introduction or you can give us their contact information and accounts, regardless of what happens with it. So make sure you hook us up and awesome. And we hook you up in return. Oh, and also fun thing that we're doing, because you know I love to spoil, actually we all love to spoil our buyers uh, or sellers or really anyone. So the latest cool thing that we're doing... I know, we finally did them! It is the spoil bags. So, what's in the spoil bag, you may ask? Jennifer, I will What's in the spoil bag, She's never Nicole. seen it! Wow! <gasps> snacks, 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 snacks. <laughs> because you're hungry when you're looking for a house. <laughs> Stay energized with a chewy bar. <laughs> and I gotta keep it. Because I know if you're like me, I get, get hungry and irritated. Oh, and... Only the best brand for the best clients. <laughs> Rolled gold. <laughs> Tiny pretzels. We're not selling pretzels. No, we're not. <laughs> and because mm, sodium, <laughs> gotta drink up. Water. Stay hydrated. What else we got in here? Oh, how cute. Superman. Super home warranty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <gasps> and the piece de resistance. Wait, what's right. this? Wait, no, never mind. Just more oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, cute Tabs. little post its yeah. yeah, so you can mark things that you like about the property. <gasps> And custom East and Ivy oh buyer my binders. Gosh, isn't she precious? Isn't she lovely? <laughs> oh my God! Stop it! <laughs> oh, I just want to be a client of East and Ivy now. Look go. at this. Right. So you've got a pad of paper to take notes on the properties that what you like about them, and this is where we're going to be putting the listing information so you can keep track, or you're going to be putting it because this is for you, and a pen to take notes. So. And she's got a stylus tip, too. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you got the nails like me, you can't get on the, like, the fine stuff exactly. on the, so, the screen. So, fun bag, awesome custom binder to hold all of your property notes and snacks so you don't get hangry. So if you cute. think that there should be anything else in the bag, let us know. And yeah. we love advice. This is really, really cute. I know. I'm into it. I love it. Soups. All right. Mm-hmm. So, fun pack this fun thing. up. All right, so before Jen ran off to her meeting this evening, because she is on the Civic Association for Prince William County, mm-hmm. um, she we were chatting. I was like, well, what do you want to talk about tonight? Um, oh, my God. Speaking of, I never gave you the update. Right. <laughs> that was Ooh, really rewind, rewind. I know, rewind, rewind. Okay, so you remember last week whenever we were talking about our poor 
buyer who I was I was kind of upset about because of the question that the realtor asked. Um, just at, I don't, I don't even know if he was a realtor or not. He might have just been a real estate agent. And if you don't sure. know the difference, right? ask, and we'll tell you all about you it. Educate. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so we put in the offer. We ended up being one of nine offers. Oh, vomit <laughs> all over the place. It was terrible. And we did not get that house. Uh, I was, I was really frustrated and frazzled at first mm -hmm. because but it turns out it was because a cash offer came in uh and they dropped all of the inspection contingencies all Jeez. of the appraisal contingencies you just we could not compete with that because we had a loan attached to the product so that was that was just it and that was fine um but the great news is is that we a house had hit the market and so immediately we went right back to searching for it that night um i asked my client i was like hey do you guys want to move forward with the next one that you loved and they said yes absolutely so i ran out to fairfax <laughs> That night at like nine o'clock at night, checked it out, did a video chat, made sure that they loved it just as much as they thought they did in the picture. As turns out they did. We were multiple offers and we won. So, so good things come to those who wait. And this yeah. one happens to be a really beautiful property, great kitchen, great space, huge space, additional bedrooms. So it was awesome. even better than the first one that they put in. Awesome. For. So yay. It's amazing. Yay for that. It can be frustrating in the process. That's it so is. Ugh. True. It's rough, but it's, it's really worth bad. it. It yeah. is worth it in the end. Definitely. So this leads us into our topic for tonight is what makes an offer strongest whenever yeah. you're in a competitive market like this. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, the first thing, Jen, what would you do? My first tip is be approved, not the pre-qual or pre-approval, whatever the like go online and type in some buttons and oh, yeah. look, you can afford this. No, get your documents into your loan officer immediately get immediately. into what is it the underwriting process right they yeah. can do all of that mm -hmm. before you even submit before you even find the property so that way when you find it boom you're ready, ready to rock go. and roll that lender can call the yeah. agent speak on your behalf tell them the condition that you're in and you were just like money right to them and a quick close at that point what 14 days yeah well it depends on the mm -hmm. loan it depends on if you're a va sometimes the appraisal process is yeah. the longest part of that um, but yes, yeah, so what she's talking about is a pre-approval versus being pre-qualified. A pre-qual is just whenever you put your social security number into the system and you do stated income. And theoretically, if this is all correct, then you can afford this yeah, house. You can buy this you, home. Right. But what a pre-approval is, is whenever you're actually providing your income verification documents and anything else that the um, underwriters may need in order to get you that approval. So yeah. it's just, it's a stronger piece of paper than the prequel. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So the next thing is I love this and I love people who want a deal, but in Northern Virginia, yeah. honey, you're not getting a deal in the beginning of 2020. Sorry. It's just, it's the reality of what it is. Yeah. So what is a deal? What does that even like, you know, people feel like they made, they did good because they got it for $10,000 under the arbitrary list price yeah. um, or anything else. So price, price is the most important thing because just to you, a buyer being the price so important, it's also important to the seller. So if you're out here and you're saying, well, I want to pay, offer $20,000 under list price. I want to offer $15,000 under list price, whatever it may be. Chances are uh -huh. you're gonna lose yeah. to somebody else who's coming right behind you. Yeah. Now, and there, this is different in different brackets, right? So if we're in the, you know, eight hundred thousand dollar range, then there's this is a different story. You know, the things get the bar buyer pool gets smaller, the days on market are longer. There's a difference depending on what you're trying to purchase. But if you're the average home buyer in this area, I think our median price right now is four forty five down in Prince William County. Um, in Alexandria, it's going up a little bit and we're in the fi high fives. Uh, and so on the closer you get to the city, but by and large, please at least offer list. And then we want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk about an, uh, an escalation clause at that point too, because that, Oh, wait, that closing, costs. closing costs. Do not ask for closing costs. Um, and what closing costs is, is asking for the seller to be able to pay for your funds on your behalf. And now if you are in the position to ask for this, come above list. And this is only gonna work in certain areas. It's not gonna work. Well, it's something to keep in no. mind too that we run into with sellers when we sit down and talk to mm -hmm. them about what an offer could look like that they might receive, right? And we talk about potential of request for seller subsidy, AKA closing costs. A lot of times these sellers are coming back, buyers, FYI, they don't think they need to help you buy their house. Correct. They're already doing you their favor and their mind. Your, by paying your agent's commission. Exactly. Yeah. So, 
You know, gotta look at both sides. There are people that we're dealing with on the other side of this too. So right. you, just as much as you have your situation, your scenario that you're trying to like live right by, they've oh. got their circumstances as well. So it's just, you know, meeting the minds. <laughs> exactly. And if you're looking to pay your own closing costs, you're looking at between two and a half to three and a half percent of whatever that loan value is. Um, and this is for Northern Virginia slash Maryland, other places in the country, things can be a little bit different. Yeah. Um, all right, so that brings up to the escalation clause. So if you know you're going in with a multiple offer situation and your agent looks at you and says, you should probably consider doing an escalation clause. What an escalation clause is, is whenever you're offering a percentage or any kind of funds above what you're actually offering. Mm -hmm. So say like you offer $500,000 and you want to come up $501 above the next highest bid up to a certain amount, whatever that is that you're most comfortable in. Mm -hmm. Now the key to this is if you're going to do this, <sighs> appraisal contingencies. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be out in these streets dropping appraisal contingencies and stuff and you ain't got the coins right. to come up with the difference. Right. So in Alexandria or Arlington, if you're going to drop an appraisal contingency, you better have the cash to come to the table if the thing doesn't appraise. Yeah. Prince William County, Fairfax County, you could still get away with it by retaining your appraisal contingency. Um, and it's not necessarily going to be as, uh, uh yes and no. Yes and no. It's a cut. It's, yeah. it's not as cutthroat. It yeah. just, it really depends on where you are. Yeah. Lou is warning us that there is a bad person out there trying. There's to... a leaf falling from a tree. <laughs> That's why he's barking. Oh, Furbo says your dog is barking. <laughs> Would you like to know what's going barking on? Alert, barking alert. <laughs> no, Louis literally barks when the wind blows the wrong direction. That's true. So. Yeah. So we have to consider the appraisal contingency, whatever we're going through this. So either you're going to retain it or you're going to drop it. It's stronger if you drop it, but make sure you have the coins to be able to come up if the appraisal doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one is EMD, AKA earnest money deposit. Standard we see Northern Virginia, 1% of sales mm -hmm. price, purchase price, excuse me, $500,000 sale. You're offering up $5,000 as collateral, essentially, if you were just to like flake out and be like, oh, I don't want to buy this house anymore and I don't have any contingencies to fall back on. Right. So what is a contingency? Oh, you did just somebody said, just ask that? No, I'm, I'm, just, oh, I'm asking oh. you. That was, it. That was Jamie. I'm oh, our chimney you know guy. Somebody just asked me this the other day and I was like, ooh, how do I like simplify what it is? Um, a timeline, a deadline of protection for yeah, you to get fire. out. <laughs> All right, to be able to get out and protect that earnest money deposit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So EMD one percent. So what? We can up it, up it to two percent, um, three percent, and it just shows mm -hmm. the seller that you're serious. Um, yeah, yeah. That's e that's easy enough. So, but you're so gonna have a fabulous agent on your side anyway through the process. So you're who's gonna be not screaming? Gonna you're gonna you're not lose losing this. this EMD. Right. It's your money. It goes towards your closing costs. Yeah. All right. So the next thing is drop inspections. So as scary as this may be, and this can be the reason like Jen just lost. Actually, I can we'll let Jen tell you about what happened whenever she was in a multiple offer situation last I'm like, week. Which one? <laughs> last week. Yeah. What was last week? They dropped it. Like, they wouldn't drop it, but the one. Oh one. yes, yes. My purchasers were comfortable doing home inspection with the option to void only. So we wouldn't have been requiring, we wouldn't have been requesting repairs after the home inspection, but we would have had the home inspection done mm -hmm. so that way they know what they're walking into. There's no surprise that they're not going in blind. The offer that won it dropped the home inspection altogether. So they didn't even do it? They didn't even do it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. That would really. But again, depends on circumstances. Maybe yeah. that buyer is a contractor and he can True. handle whatever's thrown at him. You know, like mm -hmm. you just don't know. But my buyers, that's not their situation. You know, they're in a unit now, a condo that, surprise, there's some plumbing stuff that came up that they didn't know about. Yeah. Um, I didn't represent them on that <laughs> one though, so wasn't I'm me. not. Wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. But I will help them out a bit. <laughs> yeah. True. So what you can do is you can draw, you can at least drop the inspection for option avoid only. And that's, you're going to take a look at the house. You're going to inspect the house yeah. and it's just going to stop you from asking for little things like squeaky floors mm -hmm. or other little things that might not necessarily work out or like just be annoyances that you can take care of yourself. Uh, but it will still protect you if something is crazy wrong with the house and thousands and thousands of dollars worth yeah. of stuff. So yeah. yeah, I just had a really fun home inspection on Saturday, actually. And this particular buyer, I like from Jump Street, I'm like preparing her for every worst case scenario. Like, <laughs> this is what could go wrong. This is what's gonna go wrong. And if it goes the other direction, yay! <laughs> sure enough, her home inspection, the worst of it was the oven bulb light was out. <laughs> That's it! Yes, $5 She's thing! She's getting like... This house is perfect. <laughs> perfect. That's amazing. Yeah, we were so jazzed. And so I told her, I was like, remember when I told you everything could go wrong? 
Well, it did it. It did it. <laughs> so so even the home inspector, you, it, it did it. <laughs> you <a> deep it. <laughs> um, even the home inspector after he was like, you got yourself a good house here. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And so the last thing that we would recommend is hopefully your agent is going to do this for you anyway. Um, but that's have your agent, agent ask what the seller wants for a closing yes. date and what and who's their preferred title company. Yeah. So title companies are not created equal, but you can either do a split settlement in this case and you can go ahead and say that up front. Wait, what did Angie said? Sophia said, hey, girl. Hey, Sophia. <laughs> yeah, you guys were on live right before we were with that charcoal mask. I saw her. Oh, was oh, oh, like, that the R&F turn- charcoal? I just heard about that yeah, at did. one of the yeah. Super Bowl parties yesterday. Yeah, it was mentioned it. Right? Yeah, tell Tiny Dancer she looks amazing on camera. Tiny Dancer! <laughs> I can't remix yep. that Tina Turner song. Uh, that one is probably she... dancing. <laughs> Ooh, different. Sorry, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, so title companies, they are not all created equal, but you can, if they want a specific... Why is she grabbing my hand right now? <laughs> I can't go <laughs> second, probably here! <laughs> I get passionate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, girl. Oh, yeah, girl. So cute. Yeah, um, so title companies, ask them which one they want. You could do a split settlement. Um, buyer can pick their own. Seller can pick their own. Yeah. Or if it's going to be easier for the seller, yeah. uh, you can always pick their same title company if, if it's a, a solid one with a solid yeah. reputation. Um, so speaking of title companies... I love the fact that you guys are so interactive on this. So our girl Trish texted. What the, a perfect segue. I know what a perfect segue is really it's perfect. Almost like you planned it. I did. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here later. Hold on. I've, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. So I Technical am going support. to read you what she said to us. And it was a very interesting conversation. Conversation. Oh no, maybe I won't. Uh oh. <laughs> this is what happens whenever you update your stupid iPad and you don't plug anything about I should have really checked this earlier. Anyway, so Trish sent over a uh, a message last week and she goes, Hey Trish. Hey girl. <laughs> she goes, hey, hey girl, hey. Um, so she goes, Can you guys talk about this new com- commercial? My hands. Um, for Title Lock. Uh, <laughs> so, t- let's see, Home Title Lock, as I think is what you called it. Mm-hmm. Um, and these are the commercials that are, you know, basically saying that it's like a life alert program for your home title. What's your face doing? Life alert. Yeah. Okay. So, like a credit lock program. <laughs> so, like, I know I pay $12.99 per month in order for my credit to be monitored in case somebody was to hit it. Mm-hmm. I have all my credit reports locked down because I want to. Louis trying to get you to make, stop too. <laughs> make sure. Um, that everything is fine with my credit. Anyway, so what these, this title lock, the home title lock process is, is basically for these companies to be monitoring your title to make sure that there's nothing to be hit. And something that could be hit would be like a, what do you call it? Um, like a lien against your property or in the case of these fear mongering commercials that are going on. It is something that like it's you're going to get hit with a foreclosure because somebody has an illegal loan on your house. So basically somebody stole your title um, and they're trying to get your self foreclosed. So let's just, Oof. yeah, so let's just talk about this. This is going to be a very brief segment um, because I was talking to my buddy Josh who owns Eastern Title. Shout out to Eastern Title. You what guys up, are on. Yeah, yeah, what up, What up, Diddy? No. Uh, <laughs> we don't just call him that yet. No. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Eastern title. Um, hey Josh. <laughs> hey Josh. It's yep. It's a joke. We call it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> So we were talking to Josh on Saturday night, uh, and we were. <laughs> the also, it just keeps getting worse. It really just keeps getting worse. <laughs> on the phone, because he was calling to warn us about uh, some of our overseas travels that we yep. are planning on because of the coronavirus. Stay here. Stay here. Don't go over it's anywhere. It's bad. It's bad. They are lying to everybody. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, so we're talking to Josh about this, and he goes, you know the. This is something that's not really relevant because if you go to your county website, what they're offering for $15 a month, you can actually get for free through your county website. So you would go on there and you would ask for alerts. You can search for your title to make sure that nobody's trying to steal your things. So for me, this home title lock protection is really just something 
the people some another person is just trying to make money off of because mm -hmm. yes yeah, somebody can steal the title of your car or st steal the title of your house um but that don't uh, go don't go Jesus, don't, <laughs> don't go yeah don't do it agreed right um Anyway, so this is something that we're going to be talking about more in detail um, whenever Eastern Title gets their um, their big, new, big, beautiful video wall and media wall out there. So we're going to do a segment with them where they can explain it in detail. But basically, when you buy a home, you're getting title insurance, and that's what you're going to have to be able to fight. Uh, and this is a bigger conversation. Like, what's the difference between a lender title insurance policy and a... Um, and the uh, personal title insurance policy. So that personal title insurance policy, that's what's going to help fight this. Any yeah. kind of clouds on title, any kind of liens that are arbitrarily put on your property, that's what's going to protect you. This fear-mongering home title lock thing, I, I personally wouldn't do it. But I also can go to the Prince William County, you know, website and look to see if anything is on title. Hmm. So it's more, of, um, it's more of a conversation, and we're going to do that for you in March. But just wanted to recognize that. So if you have any questions and you want us to talk about stuff or research stuff, please feel free. Text, call. Mm -hmm. um, we love to, you know, learn more and talk more and bring experts in that, you know, we possibly could. Speaking of bringing experts in. Yeah. So Lisa West, Lone Depot. Mm -hmm. hey, Lisa. hey, Lisa. She recommends we bring in a guest. Oh, that's true. So let us know who yeah. you think you would like to see as a guest. Preferably characters who are mad funny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. And maybe like once a month. We can bring yeah. somebody in like once a month. We can do sure. a cute little. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, a little sham sham. Yeah. Mm hmm Anyway, so I mean that's really all we had to talk about tonight. Um, we love you guys. Thank you for chiming in. I guess we could leave this open for questions. If anybody wants to know anything or has any specific questions for us or if you're... What are you drinking? Oh, it's a sparkly tangerine, very low alcohol content beer, but it's tasty. Sounds like water. It Sounds does. like flavor water. Yeah, it's 4%. It is a bright tangerine sparkling ale, but it's tasty. Huh, 90 calories. <laughs> 90 calories. I know it's good for Not you too. Not bad. It's true. Mm. Mm. Anyway, I'm drinking water. Yeah. If you were wondering. Yeah. She's got a lot of stuff. Well, actually, we both have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. So no wine this evening. Yeah. Well, wine. after. After. After everything <laughs> is done, for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I have to. I think there is a some kind of delay on these things. Um, yeah. Let's see. Was there anything else that we missed? I don't think we missed anything. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. A lot of hey's. A lot of watchers. A lot oh. of everybody. Oh. Wow. We love all of you. Anywho, so thanks for being fabulous. If you have anything, hit us up in the comments. We're active on this thing after we are done for the evening. All right, well, love your faces. Toodles.